Welcome to another Six Life Questions with your boy, Corey G. Today, I got special guests. Content Kyle is in the chair. What's up, Kyle? Not much, not much. I'm never usually in front of the camera. Uh, he is never in front of the camera, but today <laughs> he is in front of the camera. Now, I'm going to ask Kyle the Six Life Questions. Kyle has been around off and on since he was in high school. He's still a really young dude. How old? 23. 23. So life is going to change a lot, but we're going to give these questions as they mean as today. All right. All right. So number one, what is one ritual that you are dedicated to content Kyle? Now it can be work. It could be ride glow slow. It could be whatever. It doesn't matter. Just one thing that you do on a regular basis that you, that you are super dedicated to. This is this is, this is kind of tough. That's where it's like. Or, Don't say what you think people no, want to no, hear. No, Just this, say no. What, this yeah. is this is that's where like I, the answer is nothing. I guess at the moment, but it's been over the years. Like I've been trying to attain that. Yeah. Okay. That's that's really the only. What is something answer. that you had stuck to that you're trying to get back to then? Um, I guess lately, as of, like say my diet and that's really it like because like my fridge broke last week and yeah. that's where i was like on it for a week and a half uh on af and now i'm back on it this week so but you feel better since yes, you're back yes, on it yes. so so your diet is about to be a, a real ritual yeah. for you number yeah. one all right number two what is something you're super proud of kyle something i'm super proud of <laughs> i think that <laughs> your ride you're ultimately proud of because yeah. you're so into it i mean it's it's just looks that's where like it, it may look nice and that's where i'm like i i honestly don't like care about it it's just like i'm i don't know i'm proud of my like i'm proud of my work but it, am i proud of like where it's gone no but like i'm proud of like like my art that's yeah. that's probably about it at least that way um you think about where you started and where you're at with your skill if you just look at that body of work in the period of what five, four to five, five, years, yeah, five it's, so years, it's pretty dramatic difference, yeah. Kyle. So you should definitely be proud of that. I'm proud of that for you for sure. Cause I mean, when you go and do these uh, videos that you do here at max or went and did with ice barrel compared to what you was doing day one at old school yeah, when yeah. you're 17, bro, pretty different. Yeah. So, all right. Number three, what's one thing you wish you could change? This is something I don't know. I've I've been stuck on this probably for years, and I, like I'm slowly getting out of it. Um, I don't know if I necessarily would change it, but it's something like what what if is always the dad yeah. dad situation. So like I feel that. I mean, he was like I don't remember him, but like obviously like I seen pictures. I was given a photo album after my grandmother died. Uh, his mom died, and uh, basically it was like pictures of me and him as like probably below four years old, but I don't remember like half of them. Yeah. Or at all. So. So you wish you could change it just so you could see what it would be. Yeah, because like. it's like it, mentally it changes you like like as much as you don't want it to be like being raised by a single mother, you're going to be different than, say, having two separate people. For sure. It, that it, It's just it's bound to happen. It's an undeniable fact. Yes, Kyle, yeah, for sure. Uh, number four. How does content Kyle build confidence? That's that's something like. I don't like say the struggle, like looking in the mirror, that type of thing. But like, it's like confidence as in like being able to speak up or like, uh, confidence. Like, I, I don't know. It, it's in weird spots. Like I'm not like, I'm not con unconfident in places that most people I feel like you're like the, you're backwards kind of. Yeah. Like, I, like I look in the mirror, like, yeah, do I not look ripped? Yeah. But I don't, <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, it's what you're saying is you're not somebody that gets up and goes, oh, I hate myself. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's a huge, that's a huge win. Yeah. But it's like finding confidence in other areas. Though. Yeah. It's mostly like, I know I'm good at my art, but then it's like business side. Boo! Like yeah. it's like confidence there. It's like, I don't know. That's just one example. Um, so then let's piggyback off that. Yeah. What do you think you need to build confidence in that area then? build confidence in uh, I don't even know if I'd say confidence it's like be, I, I want to be able to feel confidence because of consistency and like working on new things but be able to I don't know it's it's that's one thing that's always been like a jumbled mess I would say yeah. for me 
when we get it organized because I've seen yeah. you through reps. Yeah. Got more confident. Yeah. And I think, you know, part of what I help to try to do with you is to let you know, hey, no, there's value here, dude. You're good at this. Yeah. You've continued to prove that. And then when you're consistent the strategy of moving closer, things that you've done that have created more consistency in your life, I feel like has helped you boost that up a little bit. Yeah. So, all right. What does success mean to you, Kyle? Like, do you have a picture in your mind of what a successful content Kyle is? Simplest terms? Sure. Whatever comes to mind. Being able to like go home, no worries. Like it's it's not just on like say cash, but that, that's obviously everybody's a part of that. Yeah. But like, not having to worry about anything. Like, whether it's as simple as like health, that's something like I don't. I don't know. It's weird when you're on the other side of the camera. Yeah, it, it is. Cause <laughs> that's where like, it's not even the fact that the camera's on me. It's yeah. More so, it's like organizing your thoughts and. Well, these are also like real ass questions. Yes. This is the six life questions with Corey Gregory. He's <laughs> like, I don't know. It's me successful. Like, yeah, you can have all these nice things. And yes, like, do I like the, having shoes or like a nice car that looks cool? Yes, but it's also very inefficient. Like, mm -hmm. I understand that. And there's consequences to that. So, um, do I like. You're still sorting through it. Yeah, because it's like right now, like a lot of like say whether like. Not being able to, or how, this is like financially successful. Not being eight, like eaten up by like all, all, ugh, all this stuff. Like within a month, like say your payments and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and life, I don't know. If feeling accomplished as in being able to attain things for me is like being able to shoot for somebody that's like whether they're famous or not, that like actually told like a real story. Yeah. That's something. Um, Personally, this is <laughs> this is one that's uh, I don't know. It, it's gonna be a struggle, at least uh, to me. But I've always wanted to buy my mom a Porsche. But that's really that's, that's really great. It. Yeah, and that should be something that you know you have on every vision board or in front of you. That those days when you're like behind the eight ball a little bit, procrastinating or yeah, doing whatever, yeah. you're like, hey, I'm not gonna be able to. And your mom's health is getting better again. But yeah. you want to make sure that you can provide that for her at some point. Yeah, I like that. All right, last one. A 23-year-old content Kyle, what is one piece of advice you would leave with somebody if basically you just only was able to give them one from, you know, struggles as a kid to working with us, being around, low glow, riding slow? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got to mess with them a little shout bit. Shout out to FRS Patty. Yeah. No shout outs. <laughs> yeah, shout, yeah, shout out to the no free shout outs. Um, what's one piece of advice, Kyle? This is advice for even my, just my, like myself because it like, I don't know, having, so th th this is like, it's a jumbled mess of, a, <laughs> of advice, but it's like, stop making excuses, but also organizing, like, like you may have those excuses, but organizing why like you have them. Okay. Um, elaborate a little bit. Like for me right now, like I have like jumbled, I, like a jumbled mess of excuses of business and that type of stuff. So it's like, I need to sort through that. So it's like, I guess right now I'm just giving myself advice of like what I probably should do. Yeah. But like, because I have no, like very lacking experience in business. It's hard to organize those and understand why like you feel that way because you haven't experienced that or like made it out of it. Yeah. It's kind but part of, of figuring it out is going and doing it. Yes. Right. I think what's going to be awesome about this specifically is one at this point in your life, you're about to lock in some thought processes, right? You're going to have to edit this yourself because it's your job. <laughs> so you're going to go back through and listen and do it. But then what it'll do is it'll make you ref part of the reason why I wanted to do this with you is it's a growing exercise for you, right? Then you're going to then reflect and go, okay, all right. Now, if I, you know, two years from now, you're going to answer this different. One year from now, you're going to answer this different. And it might help you organize some of them thoughts because you were forced to think about them yeah. all in this thing. So what do you think? I mean, I can tell out of all the people that have been on here, I'm the one that's struggled the most, I'd say. You're also the youngest, yeah. though. Yeah. So don't don't look at it like that. It's more about, you know, you're not going to have all of these answers when you're 23, bro. 
I sure as hell but didn't have. I know Dustin didn't have it. We, we, yeah. you don't have all these. Yeah, you don't have all these these answers. But I think it's what part of what we do here. And even when Cole, Cole was number one, he wanted to switch them all, right? So I think it's like it's more about the capturing of you're going to be able to look back at this as 30-year-old Kyle. And then, you know, maybe I'll be on your board of directors for your company. You'll be paying me a couple grand a month trying to get that set up with everybody here. And <laughs> my point is that I think it's good. It's a good exercise for you, and you, you did a good job, so don't stress it. But it'll be good for, you know, just to kind of lock it in and work on it, bro. Yeah, because it's like being in this environment, like I may have been the one that's like, hey, I've been fired, come back. But like I'm also the furthest one I'd say behind, but it's not like I see it as like the worst thing ever. But at the same time, you see it both sides. So like that's that's the reason why I said like I feel like the most like the one that struggled here the most is because like I've been in here the like I've been in here a lot, not just here, but like as yeah. in like with you, Dustin, old school, Max. It's but it's like being able to like be consistent and to like for me that's something that i've struggled with is like consistency of like because you know because like when I've, you I've are made, consistent you you crush it yes yeah i would argue that a lot but that's the separator right yeah but i also would give yourself like a little bit of uh like don't be so hard on yourself because when you came back in this block of time as an older person you've done really well i'm gonna give you hell and mess with you from time to time but that's also my job as your halfway uncle right and your boss <laughs> but the reality is like you know it's all because the, everyone cares about you because yeah, they yeah. know how good you are yeah. so it's like you know that about you we know that about you and then as you continue to get your consistency and structure together the sky's the limit so i think all of these answers will be easier as you just continue down the path you're on right now buddy yeah no no karate chopping tables <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> all right shout out slow glow Kyle, where can everybody find you? <laughs> um, it's either uh, at slammed.tc or um, content Kyle on Instagram. Yeah, uh, slammed.tc. That's my lowered bagged car. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. All right. Six life questions with your boy, Corey G. That is content Kyle brought to you by MaxEverMuscle.com. We out.